I'm just gonna do, do it in my own time. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought we would be able to do it. There's a pivotal fragment that hit my nostalgia hard, by the way. Already looking forward to that. Alrighty. That's gonna be awesome then. So, we gonna do... I think one of those. Experience pivotal fragment. First, we're gonna go into pivotal Useful fragment, and then we're gonna do around two of those uh, supplementary fragments. And then, of course, we're gonna get into a little bit of heart to heart with Dante. Dante. <laughs> Love that name. Wow. Also, hope you can hear the game properly. And I really hope I'm not too loud. You're always the last to realize what you never wish to see. Oh boy, that is true. <laughs> Sunday. It is indeed Sunday. Well, no, it's Friday. These sessions quickly become a source of stress. The man who was supposed to guide me seems to walk a different path. I could never tell him what we did to Argus, what we did to his bosses. As I tried to give him vague answers, I hope that he doesn't find me suspicious. His perception and ability to make me talk could easily incriminate all of us. My, direction li my direct line to Argus has now become a liability rather than Perhaps help. Perhaps you should tell me more about this new friend of yours, Delta. Has he been a positive addition to the group? Are you scrutinizing him? Remember, you're not the only outsider anymore. You have a new perspective. That is true, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's that bad. Like, uh... I, I, I think Chiron, 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 we're gonna call him Chiron, Chiron. Well, he is basically Chiron, isn't he? Or was it Chiron? Ah, oh, dang it. Chiron, with K, right? Oh, scary name. That's true. I think back to one of our sessions earlier now. Time to unpack a few theories. Number one, Isaac definitely works for Cypher 2. He has the intel that gives Cypher that much power and... That thing with Chiron, fun, went way too convenient and easy for him. Maybe that's the case, who knows. He gave me a he gave me advice and said that my friends would put me under a microscope. Since Glaze is the new blood now, the microscope kind of shifted to him. Hello day YY. Wait, something happened to Argus? Did something major happen in yesterday's stream? Somewhat and Argus, uh, the, the thing is actually quite important here. And now I'm looking through the lens, but it wasn't bad. I liked what I saw. Under the microscope might be a bit hyperbolic. If this was how Isaac and the others judged me, then it was fine. Go ahead, take your time. I'm just curious to learn about your social life. Uh, I think a lot of things about Clay's, to be honest. He makes me feel a little inadequate, inadequate, you know. Things are good, more friends is always fun. I'm actually kind of interested in him. Ooh, woo, hell yeah. I wish my time in the spotlight lasted a little longer. He's great, and it's cool to know somebody of note. Um, hmm. I think this one's gonna be quite adequate. I can imagine it might have its benefits. But remember that he's more than just his fame. True. A lot of people in his life probably don't. You know? Wait, did it actually come off as me leeching off him? Oh no, I didn't want that. Not that I know who he is. It's just an educated guess. All right, fair enough. Some of the patients that I counsel are people of note as well. They all share similar struggles. Everyone shares a lot of struggles. Connection. Say whatever you want. Many people share very small struggles. So yeah, on yesterday's streams, a lot has happened. Oh, uh, sound effect, background sounds, background music. All right, that should be good enough. I nod. That makes perfect sense. Just treating him like a person, I do that by default. The fact that other people don't don't is just kind of depressing. It is! It is incredibly sad, all things considered. I get a smile from him before he starts scrib scribing more notes. No, don't scribe the notes. Every time he does that, I start to get more and more paranoid. Could he tell I was hiding something? What was he writing? Moving on, I actually wanted huh? to ask you something. Did you watch that report last week on Komarevi's anniversary? Oh? Oh yeah, well, we kind of didn't have a choice, right? The robotic voice speaking to us in fragment maps implies... Implied it, but the glitch from Isaac Heart to Heart 2 definitely confirms the following. We are not just playing Delta arriving. We are not just playing... 
as Delta arriving in Toronto, but we play as person watching Delta's memories, which would explain why this game breaks the fourth wall hourly. That could be a thing, to be honest. Kind of reminds me of um, a, an what was the thing called Animus from uh, from Assassin's Creed. You know, at one point, right, Animus became something more than just a program to read memories. It became a game, literally. Treat him, treat them as a fur instead. Well, no, I'm just gonna treat him as a person. I do not have much choice. I don't want to lose Good points. To care about your score. A lot of people just shut off their TV and take the hit. It's not a huge penalty, but it takes some time to recover. Well, all hits take time to recover, not worth it. There's no way that Isaac would allow that. I didn't even really watch it though, if I'm perfectly honest. I remember Argus stroking their ego and something about nostalgia. I'm curious why he brought this up, though. So, as I sit and listen... They actually skipped over something pretty important. Huh? You know how Komarebi got its name? I do not know. Why is it so far to the right, by the way? <laughs> I have the game on the full screen, by the way. This is too far to the right on my screen. <laughs> no, not the meaning of the word, Delta. I'm talking about how the world came up with it. How we all agree I should actually move myself to the right, huh? The right or left, rather. Well, how did they come up with the name, then? I'm actually clueless here. I actually don't have... I actually don't know that story, yeah. Omit such a big detail, isn't it? Celebrate the history, but leave out some of the origins? It's not oh. anything super interesting, but I guess it's so. a story I like to share. I nod. I'm actually quite... <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious why the word Komorebi was chosen. I do not under I do not know what Komorebi actually means, so <laughs> that's gonna be interesting, alright? Mm, hopefully. It's not something I stopped to question. To me, it was just natural na nature of things. In the Steam achievements, it there's something about nostalgia technology, I guess. There was there we have it. The achievement while well, it clicked it saying something like they still gonna fix it and the fact that it glitched all tells me that it's still somewhat in the planning or testing maybe again kind of reminds me of an 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 why am i always thinking anonymous it's animus from freaking assassin's creed wow nobody could make a decision on freaking hate these words those words ah be the other way around the anonymous animus 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 each country was allowed to take submissions from their citizens. Then the entire world would vote on which word or country would win. All right. It was a huge summit where the votes were inspected and revealed. Amorebi Japanese was literally sunlight leaking through trees, which this word describes the beauty and wonder of rays of light dappling through overhead leaves, casting dancing shadows on the forest floor. I guess that's kind of nice way of putting it in a single word. It was like a contest. Yeah, it is literally. It was literally a contest. That is an awesome way to pick a word. Kind of reminds me of what has happened at one point here, where in my country they made one big freaking contest about how to call cars because at the time they were just called automobiles and currently they are called something entirely else because of a public vote. You know, <laughs> they literally had to choose a name for cars. And instead of calling them something similar, where every other country calls it quite similar, which is kind of like auto, automobile, yeah, simple as, they just called it something entirely else and threw it out of the window. Because why freaking not? Ugh. Automobile sounds kind of familiar. I mean, automobile is general term for cars. Well, old timey way of saying car. <laughs> automobile is just generally a really old timey way of saying a car you know that's what the original cars were automobiles japan and the submission of komorebi won by a landslide it was likely because of its relation to nature and beauty we thought a term like that would make things less scary i guess so it does make sense nonetheless of course uh, i bet 80 percent of characters in this world are weebs Weeps, freaking manga, manga boys, manga girls, every freaking one. It's perfect to German, even you pronounce, even your pronunciation. <laughs> I'm not German though. <laughs> so now it's not an automobile. 
<laughs> but nonetheless, I am not German. Say whatever you want. I can speak a little bit of German, but not a lot of it. Mitigating the fear that Komarevi figured as much. <laughs> I almost choked on my spit. Wow. <laughs> that, that's, that takes some time, huh? Still, I'm also not Dutch, so there is that. <laughs> no Dutch here, no siree. That sounds really intense, but it also makes sense. Amorevi created chaos, and it well documented how bad things were. Reggie the called the No German. Exactly, I am not German. Not anymore. I mean, I am not at all. <laughs> oh my god, that that would sound weird. That would sound weird to be honest. Not anymore. Wow. Like, how do you live in a country and at one point you just move and say, "Oh, I was of this this nationality," but I guess not anymore. <laughs> Free Isaac is not a person to forget stuff. We have never seen him forget anything or leaving anything up to luck. Except when he forgot his lunch. He definitely wanted us to come there and I don't think it was about that fake discount. To be honest, I do feel it was about that discount. It kind of makes sense for him. Getting the entire world to band together for a friendly competition? A good idea. We'll it is actually a good you. idea. It's interesting to think about. Anyway, I just think it's a nice story to share. But there's a little more. It leads into a lesson that I like to teach my patients. And what's the lesson then? Oh, so that was where he was going. The story was actually just a setup for some advice. He seems very wise, though. Uh, sorry. He seems very wise, though. Wise, though. No call. Uh, what, 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 what's the name of that thing? I forget. The, the, the thing between wise and though. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a separator. I forgot its name. Uh, not a period p because period is a dot. It's on the right, far right side. Uh, semicolon? No, the semicolon is the dot and the slash uh, and the, 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 the separator. I forgot its name. Still, no separator needed here. English can take it. Like literally, you should make it in the way that is easy to pronounce. He seems very wise, though. That's how it should be pronounced. If I would read it as it is written, he seems very wise, though. So I listen with my curiosity peaked. It doesn't make sense. It literally doesn't make freaking sense to read it this way. Ah, ah. I'm actually angry about Imagine it. Imagine yourself staring at the sun. A pretty foolish idea. I'm incredibly angry for freaking grammar for this for for, for once. To be honest, I'm not often. I'm not often uh, freaking mad about it because it's not something to get mad about. But sometimes it's really annoying when you want to read something and it just doesn't cooperate with you because it's written in some weird way. Okay, end of the event. I will stop my freaking... Show your angry face. No, no, I won't show my angry face. Definitely. Mm -mm. Never. I nod. Now put some trees between you and the sun. The beams shine through, becoming something new and beautiful. What could once hurt you now becomes something you can't look away from. And that sounds incredibly serene, especially combined with this music, all things considered. You can only fully appreciate it because something got in the way. Next time something obstructs you, Can I kill with them? Stop oh thinking. boy, yes, thank you. <laughs> I will kill everyone with my eyes. I will make sure of it. I will freaking laser everyone. Sorry for interrupting you. I forgot your name. Uh, that actually brings me to another point. Unfortunately, one thing didn't make it to this game. Unless it's under some sort of button. Still, uh, Winds of Change had a button for replays. You were able to replay whatever character said. And you cannot do that here. Why is, Why though? That was an, a perfect freaking thing, especially for streams. When I spoke over a character, I could just press a button to replay and he would say the same thing again, but I could shoot, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> the counselor. Okay, that's a, that's a good enough of a name. I will call him Grizz anyway, you know? <laughs> is this truly an inconvenience? Or is it the chance to discover something new? Definitely something to discover new. But I like to call him Grizz. Likewise! 
especially because he resembles him fairly well. I, can ha I can't help but relate this to my current situation with Karen. It feels like sheltering this zero is going to get in the way of my life, or at least the path that I expected my life to take when I arrived. I've been so quick to think what Bo Bao is me. Wow, wow or Bao? Bao is me and pity myself. But perhaps I should take this metaphor to heart and change my thinking. What originally got in my way might just make my life more beautiful in the end. Oh, it will definitely t make your life more and more freaking beautiful. Nonetheless, guys, don't forget to make clips. I will be really freaking appreciated of that. Uh, well, what, 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 what? I I really lost a frame of thoughts here. I will really freaking appreciate that. Also, we've got Clay's here. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I was like, I bet we will have to... So, I will now refer to him as Grizz because I value democracy. Ah, yes, democracy. What do we do? We kill him! <laughs>